Hello. So it's that time of year, right, where people start thinking about new habits that they may want to form or old ones they want to get rid of. So I wanted to just take this opportunity to mention that something, a habit that I've been doing since 2013, which I think is a bit unusual, but really rewarding. It is that I have been taking and recording one photo for each day since 2013. And um, it's been super interesting to do that. And, and the reason I keep doing it from year to year is because it just gives me so much value and, and, and happiness. So basically, um, what it does for me is that it, it keeps my eyes open. Like if every day I think about what I'm doing and what's happening around me because I know that I want to memorialize this day with some photo. So it's like a, a mindfulness thing almost built in to, to, your, to the habit. And then it works really well as an as a, as a easy journal. So instead of spending time writing down things, which can be, you know, take a lot of effort, um, I just take a photo and, and send it up there. And that's, that's all my brain needs is that visual reminder of, of that day to then jumpstart all the memories from that day. So I, I don't need to write down all the stuff that I did. Um, I can just see that one picture. It will trigger all the memories. I keep a written journal as well um, because I'm, I'm fanatic when it comes to recording stuff. But the journal I almost never read because it's just too, it takes too much time and effort to read a journal written down. But the visual journal, I, I do scroll through that from time to time just to sort of reflect on, on, on the time that's passed. And it's funny, I then realize how many tricks my mind plays on me uh, in, in two ways. One is that it distorts a sense of time. So events that I thought were a long time ago was just you know a year ago, or things that I thought was in the last year actually it was like four years ago, and my mind just fools me all the time around the timeline of my own life. So keeping a photographic journal like this, where each day is exactly one you know unit, um, really helps that. And then uh, it also just makes me remind myself, you know, I remember the stuff I wouldn't normally remember. Um, you know, the big grand days of our lives, we kind of remember easily. But the little things that make up most the bulk of your life kind of slips from my mind unless there's um, a reminder about it ever happening. So it's, that's, it's important. Oh, did I mention I made an app? <laughs> Maybe I should have mentioned that in the beginning. Yes, yeah, so you can have a photo journal as well if you want one. Um, you just go to photo.app and it's free to use and you're very welcome to use it if you like. Um, and what else? Oh, uh, yes, you can keep it private. So you don't have to, and I recommend keeping it private because then you are able to be honest with yourself and you can post whatever you want. I keep mine public because um, Family and friends like to see what I do because I'm nomadic. It's hard to keep track of what I'm up to so they can see all the stuff I'm doing. But here's a little secret. Certain days I publish a private photo and a public photo so that when I look at my timeline, I'll see things that they don't. So, uh, yeah, that's one thing you can do with the app. Um, oh, and if you do Instagram as well, you can just sort of automatically send photos from Instagram to Fojo with a little hashtag. Um, that works really well. And um, if you, yeah, it's, but it's not a social network. Like there is no liking, there's no, you know, it's not about that. It's about remembering and reflecting on your own life and building a habit that m promotes mindfulness and gratefulness. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's what that is. You might think that it'll take too much effort to keep, you know, create such a habit. But right now, I mean, I've been doing it since 2013. And it doesn't feel like a weight on my shoulders at all. Um, it's actually really nice to take that moment to look back and go, oh, what did I do in the last three days? And then kind of 
think about it. And then you maybe realize that, oh my God, I did nothing. And then you might want to change it. Uh, or you realize that, yeah, actually I did do something. Fojo and COVID, right. People say, oh, well, I don't want to start it now because n nothing is happening to me right now. Well, that's bullshit. Something is happening to you right now. I mean, COVID, you're, you're living through a freaking pandemic. So maybe it will be interesting in five years time to look back on how you lived during that time and what did your everyday look like when it was so impacted by something as sickening as this. Um, so actually, I'd say this is the perfect time to, to start uh, a daily photo journal. So. Okay, I've been going off long enough. Bye, have a happy 2021.